Welcome to Unit Circle's Survival Guide. In this video, we will find the exact value using the SARC method of cotangent 2 pi over 3. So we have our outline for finding the exact value. This will help us keep everything organized and make sure we have an accurate answer. And the SARC stand for 1, sketch the angle, 2, ASTC is the acronym to help us decide if our final answer should be positive or negative. R is to find the reference angle and thus the reference triangle and unit circle coordinates that we will work with for step four, our calculation. And for that, we'll just use our trig ratios. So we are finding the exact value of cotangent of two pi over three. All right, let's first start by sketching our angle two pi over three. Okay, you probably know that that's in the second quadrant here. If you didn't, you could say, well, we know zero starts here in standard position and a half rotation would be pi. So rewrite that with a common denominator of three. That's just three pi over three. And then you can see that that breaks that semicircle, that half circle into thirds. So one pi over three would be in quadrant one. Two pi over three is our angle here, two pi over three. And then you would rotate another pi over three to get to three pi over three. So here is our terminal side of our angle. Okay, next we want to decide, is our final answer going to be positive or negative? Let's just get that part out of the way. And we use the acronym ASTC. So we put that in quadrant one, two, three, four. And this tells you which trig functions are positive in these quadrants. So quadrant one, all six are positive. Quadrant two, only sine and its reciprocal cosecant are positive. Well, since we're trying to find the cotangent of our angle in the second quadrant, we know our answer should be negative. Okay, so let's go ahead and mark negative for our final answer. If you had an angle in quadrant three, know that tangent and its reciprocal cotangent are positive. All the others are negative. And in quadrant four, the positive trig functions are cosine and secant, while all the others are negative. All right, now we want to find our reference triangle. And so first we need to find our reference angle, which is simply the amount of rotation from the terminal side of our angle to the x-axis. And we sort of already talked about that earlier. If we've rotated two pi over three to get to our terminal side, we must rotate another pi over three to get to three pi over three or pi. So our reference triangle will be the pi over three triangle or the 60 degree special right triangle. Okay. So we can find the unit circle coordinates for this triangle. We know that the shorter leg is the horizontal leg. Thus, the x coordinate must be 1 half. And the y coordinate is the longer leg, the vertical leg, square root of 3 over 2. And so we are just taking the coordinates from the first quadrant point here. We've already decided that our final answer will be negative, so no need to include it in the calculations. That just tends to um, lead to potential errors. Okay, finally, we will calculate our trig ratio, cotangent. So we know our cotangent ratio for angles on the unit circle is simply x over y. It's the reciprocal of the tangent ratio, which is y over x. So we simply need to divide our x coordinate by our y coordinate. So we'll write 1 half. And if we're dividing by a fraction, we're actually multiplying by the reciprocal. So let's go ahead and do that. The reciprocal of root 3 over 2 is just 2 over root 3. Okay, let's cross cancel since we're multiplying fractions. These 2s can cancel to 1s since they have a common factor of 2. And then we see 1 over square root of 3 is what we have left. So we, of course, want to rationalize this. You may just know off the top of your head what this rationalizes to. If not, all you need to do is multiply your answer by the square root of 3 over the square root of three. And you get a rationalized final value of square root of three over three. So of course we've already decided that it should be negative since cotangent is negative in the second quadrant. And we found that the cotangent of two pi over three is negative root three over three. So that's all there is to using the Sark method to find an exact value. Um, check the links in the video description. I'll put um, some more worked examples out and good luck mastering the exact value calculations.